Hi guys, so I don't know who embodies Tory cringe more, the Wish.com version of Boris Johnson or Sir Desmond Swain. Okay, so the Standards Committee has suggested MPs should, and I quote, demonstrate anti-discriminatory attitudes. The committee is currently drawing up proposals for a new code of conduct for members of Parliament. It has stressed that its recommendations are only in draft form at the moment and that it would consult further before publishing a final set of proposals for MPs to debate on and vote on. Here Sir Desmond talks about the right of the public to vote for both racist and misogynistic candidates for Parliament. Is Mr Swain trying to tell us something? Madam Deputy Speaker, the government takes the Constitution seriously. Can I put it to him, therefore, that although we're about to have the opportunity to question the Honourable Member uh, for the Ronda about his report, a debate would be very helpful in government time because some of the aspects of the report, such as the extension, potential extension of the jurisdiction of an official into what happens in the lobbies and in select committees, touches on the principles of the uh, Bill of Rights that no proceeding in Parliament be questioned in any place or any court other than Parliament itself. And the, the, the principle of democracy is undermined by the requirement that we may be required to subscribe to behaviours to promote certain attitudes. I hope that my constituents never elect a racist or a misogynist, but they have a right to do so. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they have a right to do so. Um, is he trying to tell us something here? It's interesting, in the front bench, in the, the bench in front of him, there is Marc Francois. No comments about him. Now, just imagine you, you work in a company and the company said, we have certain standards that you need to live up to. Well, if you didn't like it, you would leave. You would be fired if you broke the rules. Why shouldn't, why shouldn't members of parliament have a similar code of conduct? Of course, like a code of conduct in, in the House of Commons is as useful as a chocolate teapot because Boris Johnson breaks the rules on an almost daily basis and he doesn't get punished for it. Really, I, I don't see the point in having a, a code of conduct in the House of Commons. But shouldn't we expect our elected representatives to be neither misogynistic or racist? Isn't, isn't that a minimum? What's so much to ask for there? That should be a default. Now, why would the Conservatives have a problem with this? Well, obviously, they'd have a conserv the Conservatives have a problem with this because if you... If you think about the voting base, you have the poor and you have the rich. Well, the rich don't care about race and they don't care about sexism or anything like that. They vote for the Conservative Party because they know that they're going to make their life a lot easier. But the poor and the working class who vote Tory generally vote Tory because they are misogynistic and they're racist. So if you take that away, if you take that possibility for um, people to vote for candidates like that, then they're not going to vote for the Conservative Party. And the Conservatives would be undercutting themselves here. So I think the reason Sir Desmond is concerned about this, once again, and I've said this before, Sir Desmond Swain doesn't care about real issues. He cares about invented issues. And the idea that people wouldn't be able to vote for a racist or a misogynist, um, well, I'm sorry tough they shouldn't be able to vote for people like that let me know in the comment section guys what you think about all of this as always your comments are greatly appreciated thanks a lot